Hi guys, today I am finally going to reveal the media room upstairs. You are currently looking at Loxie. This is her little lookout spot. She loves that spot. And we're going to start at the bottom of the stairs and make our way up so that you can see from this point where the media room is. I really contemplated long and hard how I wanted to approach this video because I've been living in this house for six months and I already started the process of, you know, hanging things and I didn't really record myself as I was doing these things when I probably should have. So I'm just going to do a full reveal, not a setup video, and let's go ahead and jump in. So, as you can see, I've made my way to the top of the stairs, completely out of breath. If you go this way, it's my daughter's room, but if you go this way, you will go directly into the media room. So, here we go. I really love how this space turned out. This is my very first time. If you've followed my decorating journey for years upon years, this is my first time utilizing black as a color in the color palette for everyday decor, and I love it. I wanted to treat this space a little bit more modern, um, not so much traditional like the downstairs. I just thought it was really fitting, especially since my daughter spends most of her time up here. It's kind of like her own little quarters up here, but I do come up here as well. And I just thought, you know what? This is my opportunity to really try a different style. And that's exactly what I did. I don't think that I'm completely finished. I think there are small little touches I need to do, but let's go ahead and dive in and let's start with this wall space over here. You can see that I have this comfy, cozy together sign. I first saw this at Hobby Lobby. It was on sale and I fell in love with it, took a picture of it, but didn't buy it. I went home. I still thought about it, but I was confused because it had a more modern look to it with the black and I didn't know where I could put it. And then you guys just always come in and save the day and give me ideas and a few of you actually commented that this would be perfect in the media room and that's exactly what I did. I wanted to make sure though that I added some greenery so I decided instead of building a shelf or not building a shelf but installing a shelf and then adding garland to it which is what I like to think like my signature style I decided I would do a drape effect I didn't have to add any thumbtacks I didn't have to glue anything I just kind of worked my way with this garland and tucked it in behind the frame and then here is the TV section. I put together this stand myself. It was one of the first few pieces of furniture I got when I moved into this house. And as you can see, I didn't do a very good job because ladies, those don't close properly. I don't know what it is. They, I follow the instructions to the letter and it just, mm -mm. so anyways, these are all of my daughter's movies.
I did promise her movie collection video for my vlog, so that will be coming soon. Make sure you're subscribed to my vlog in case you didn't know that I had one. Um, this section also, I feel like, is still under construction. I imagine I'll do something green at the bottom here. You can see there's like little straggling movies over there that need to be put up. And then this potted um, boxwood. I love boxwood. They're my favorite faux plants. I would never reach for this for downstairs because of the, the black shiny ceramic. It just gives off modern to me. But as soon as I saw this, I believe it was at the at-home store, I knew it would be perfect for this space. Originally, I had two lanterns on either side of the TV, and it just looked too cluttered, too much, because this is already, you know, a thing. But I do love the look of it. I love the look of seeing all the colors of the DVDs, and it just emphasizes the point that this is a media room. So I do love that, but the lanterns, and I'll show you where those went. I basically swapped places with this and the lanterns. And I like just the one green thing over there. Over in this corner, I have a basket. It's pretty much like a decorative blanket, and I'm obsessed with this quilt. It is a full-on clue quilt, and I'm gonna pull it out so that you, you guys can see the whole thing. And here is what it looks like. Obviously, it's a quilt, so it's kind of hard to see the images, but this big image is, I'm gonna stop pointing because it always makes my camera not focus, but it's the original image on the DVD, the classic movie Clue, and then you can see in each of the window is one of the players. I'm obsessed with this blanket, like I'm just obsessed. And then you can see in each little corner there's something. I love all the colors of each of the characters. Mrs. Peacock was a man. So a lot of like uh, quotes from the movie itself. This one's one of my favorite images actually. They're each holding a weapon behind their back. And then it has all their names here. Colonel Mustard is hilarious. I'm just gonna, was it one plus two plus two plus one? that one. This one, everything. Th this is probably one of the most iconic things about Clue was Mrs. White and her her flames moment. And then you have all of them here. And then this one. Run down the hall. That's pretty funny. This one's really neat because you can have all the classic Clue pieces, but then in each side of them is a weapon. So it just hangs out here in this black basket. I honestly don't re remember where I got this, but when I moved into this house, I did all of the hauls for you guys. So anything that I've ever purchased, it's on my home decor playlist, which I'll link it down below just in case you're curious. I really don't want to wait another second without addressing the movie posters. <laughs> So you can see that this room um, has a lot of slants. It's a very like slanted ceilings because the attic space is directly above here and I love it. I love how cozy it makes this room feel, but because of that, we really didn't have, as you can see, much wall space to work with. If you turn around this way, it overlooks the staircase and I haven't done anything to any of this space. So eventually there's gonna be updates to this as well. I feel like it's a little too plain for me, but I'll end up doing something. I just haven't quite figured out what that is, but let's talk about these movie posters. And I just love, one, I love the 80s, you guys. The, the movies are fantastic. They make me so incredibly happy. And these three were the ones I decided to throw up, even though my daughter and I, uh, kind of came to an agreement that we would do two of her favorite movie posters and two of mine. So technically I have three of mine up and only one of hers. She wanted a Harry Potter one, but we kind of haven't made a definitive decision on which Harry Potter one she wants. So in the meantime, I went ahead and threw up Return of the Jedi. She loves Star Wars and I do too. Like this one's a favorite of mine too. 
Return of the Jedi, which is everything, and then Indiana Jones, and then we have Back to the Future. So what's exciting about these is that I'm going to be exchanging these out for Halloween and then for Christmas. So if you want to follow along and see how what movie posters go up, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and comment. Right now, comment and tell me which four you think are going to be my Halloween posters. And if you follow all my videos, you know at least two of them because they were in hauls. So they were in my Amazon hauls. Um, one of them, I'll give you guys a hint, one of them was up in the last house, but I'm going to put it back up. And the other one, I haven't mentioned it at all yet. I just got it in from Amazon. But anyways, comment and let me know which four movie posters you think are going to go up for Halloween. Let's go ahead and turn around so that we can take a look at the furniture. So when I moved into this house, and sorry about the lighting, but... This was actually my furniture in the living room at the last house. And when I moved into this house, I knew I wanted new furniture for the living room. So immediately when the movers were bringing the stuff in, I, I directed them straight upstairs. I got it nice and cleaned and I knew I had to bring in that pop of black. And I feel like it looks so chic and modern. I like the structure of the furniture just kind of really square like and I feel like that looks modern to me too but also while maintaining a casual farmhouse look because that's what I went for modern farmhouse over here and I know that the way that the furniture is set up is kind of interesting because it's like you're facing this instead of this but I wanted a straight walking path so I didn't want to angle this, but whenever anybody comes over here, it's just easy to turn it. You know, just turn it while you're here, while you're watching TV, not a big deal, but then, you know, turn it back. And if, if this were in everyday use and like we had a huge family, obviously turning it, moving it, turning it, moving it would just be too much. But, you know, it's just my daughter and I, so whenever she knows she has friends up here, they can just easily turn this and I mean they're not here all the time so walking space and then over here I have this console table which was the console table in the last house as well it was in the living room and I decided to repurpose it up here. I like it because it has that like gray, fin grayish finish here while also bringing in that like wicker, wicker basket look. So kind of has that farmhouse touch. And then this was my little uh, creation from Hobby Lobby. I really struggled and that's why this video honestly took so long to release was because of this section right here. I could not for the life of me figure out how to address this space and this is just what I've come up with. Honestly, this could kind of move over. It doesn't need to be perfectly centered. But this is a wicker basket and if you watch my haul, it actually says simply blessed in there and then it has like pink flowers but I knew I was gonna cover that up what I really wanted was for this to kind of peek out a little bit of rope detail to peek out and then I bought these at Hobby Lobby and then I just filled it into this basket there's only two of them and then I put these lanterns here and I feel like the lanterns add to that modern look just because of the structure the openness there's no glass and those lanterns were on either side of the tv and it just didn't look good and then like i said that was over here and it just nothing was making sense and i really love how this turned out then i got this cake stand or this pedestal and i added the lamp because when i went to hobby lobby i knew i wanted to buy two lamps but I also knew in the back of my mind that this console table was really small and so 
I just thought, okay, I'll move this lamp over there and I'll show you guys what I was thinking. Uh, but then I couldn't move it over there because there was going to be a wire situation. I don't like wires to be out. So I knew I had to utilize this lamp here and all I did was raise it on top. So it gave it some height. And this bottom section, I should have fixed this. I just haven't grabbed a pair of scissors. I was just gonna unfold them and put them in the center. Actually, let's do that now. And there we have it. Looks much better, doesn't it? I had to take away the cinema sign just because it wasn't fitting. Yes, I could probably move these like this, but I definitely like them this way instead. have no idea what would kind of go in here. Nothing has to technically go in here. I just wanted something black to carry, you know, more of that color throughout. And I have another blanket of, or another basket of blankets here. This was also in the last house in the living room, and it is now part of the upstairs media room. But here is what the room looks like from this angle. And I knew immediately that I wanted to do this combination when I decided I was gonna do Modern Farmhouse. I knew I needed something that was going to push that element and nothing is more trendy and modern right now than the round mirrors with the black trim. Sorry for the horrible lighting, but it's because the window's right there and it's, there we go. So it's actually kind of rubbery and really cool. And then I added this faux plant or this faux tree plant and I went with the big pot of leaves just because I thought it looked more modern. I don't know if it actually is, but I feel like it is. I don't, I am not a modern um, decorator, so this wasn't exactly easy for me to figure out how to do this, but I think that this little section is really cute, simple. Yeah, so the other thing that I haven't done that this space does need are curtains. Uh, blackout curtains so that when you're watching in here you don't see the glare from the window and I just haven't gotten around to that but I will be doing white curtains. There's gonna be plain solid white with a black curtain rod and maybe like black tie backs and but there'll be the blackouts, so on the inside it should have like the blackout lining. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick tour of this closet, which is part of the media closet, has all of our games. I will link the original video of when I organized all of this. It's all Dollar Tree. Uh, definitely go watch it. I thought it was a really fun video. I'll link it down below. And I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the modern farmhouse bathroom. The lighting is going to adjust, it's just the kind that warms up, so it's a little bit yellow right now, but I will also link this original video down below. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick walkthrough. I carried the black again, it's white, black, and green. That, those, that was the color palette that I felt like translated modern farmhouse to me, so that's what I went with. And the original video will give you all the details of where I got everything, but I really went in for all the little minor details. The black curtain rod, the black shower curtain rings. This was a Dollar Tree DIY, which is so incredibly cute, I'm obsessed with. Trash can that needs to be emptied. And then, ta-da! Oh my gosh, that's my favorite part. Absolutely obsessed, in love. This was one of the funnest spaces that I've ever decorated in a really long time. Dollar Tree stuff. I just love using Dollar Tree stuff because you guys know that is my absolute favorite store. And then all of our green. This was hilarious. Go watch that video or the haul. I don't, I don't even know, but when you guys voted for this to be in the bathroom, I was just like, oh my god, they're my soulmates. You guys are my soulmates. You're hilarious. You have the best personalities, sense of humors, ideas. Like I, a girl is just lucky to have y'all in my life. Like you just don't even know. 
and yeah so absolutely cute and darling i love how this space turned out and like i said i will link the original video down below and here is the media closet i love this space so much and even more so because i organized it with dollar tree stuff when i tell you guys i'm obsessed i really think that it's an obsession and i got the opportunity to do different colored bins the white the black for the farmhouse or the for the modern look and i got everything stored nicely i mean you should have seen what this looked like before Whew, let me tell you, I'm also out of breath, so I'm sorry about that. This bottom section is still, like, in the works, to be honest. And then this I loved because I got this, uh, like, file organizer from Dollar Tree. And then I put all of these puzzle books and Jenga's back there. This is also from Dollar Tree, a game I found there. I've got, like, Nerf guns and stuff. Um, and all of the games super super fun and like i said i will link it down below but i just feel like it works so well with this space sorry for the lighting i don't know why it goes from yellow to blue like i just i don't understand lighting and cameras to be honest anyways while the light adjusts and drops the blue this is the media room reveal the tour of the bathroom of the closet i hope that you guys enjoyed please give this video a thumbs up it helps my channel grow so much thank you so much for being subscribed and hanging out seeing how the spaces get decorated i hope that you guys love this please drop what for posters you think are going to go up for Halloween. And if you're in the mood, go ahead and drop what four you think I'm going to choose for Christmas as well. I, I definitely cannot wait to see who's going to guess and actually nail what's going to go up. So it'll be really fun. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you loved how this turned out and I'll see you guys next time.